Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a different video, this is gonna be new, so if anyone doesn't want to watch anything to do with makeup collection, click out, although I will have it on the title, so feel free just to obviously click out if you don't want to watch. So, by popular demand, I did put it out there on um, like a week ago now, a little over a week ago, to see if anybody wanted to see my collection. Um, I don't even know how to do this, because it's overwhelming to me how many different areas of things that I have. Like it was easy. Lush collections, easy. Bath and Body Works, easy. Makeup on it, however, I'm like overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? So what I've decided is I'm just going to do like, this is going to be part one. I'm going to come, I don't have a lot of certain types of makeup because I don't use certain types of makeup very often. But today I want to share with you my collection of mascaras, uh, my eyeliners, and of just a, just a couple brow products, things that I use for my eyebrows, because I really have sparse, sparse eyebrows. <laughs> they're like blonde and yeah, they're half, they're not gray, but they're blonde and then a little bit of brown. So it looks like I have no eyebrows, but I really do. So um, anyway, so let's start off with brow products since I'm talking about that. Um, okay, so I love the the look of, and I'm again, I'm wearing the brow products brow bra really <laughs> I'm wearing the brow products on my eyebrows right now uh, just I don't I don't I don't care people I don't have the best eyebrows I don't have uh, symmetrical eyebrows I don't think anyone does unless you pay for that to happen I don't really care so I just do something to enhance what I do have so what I have two little things I have the Mac eyeshadow in coquette because I find if I go and even um, Omega or whatever, the shadow Omega and from MAC, which a lot of blondes will use for the eyebrows, I just felt it was still pulled warm on me, which is weird. So when I went to MAC one time to get my makeup done, uh, I said I would really love for you guys to find me a shadow because I like the naturalness of a shadow versus a pomade in my eyebrows. Um, and they got they picked up Coquette for me. So that's actually what I do to fill my bras. And, bras, really? What is on my mind? Oh my god, like seriously, people. Oh my god. Yes, I have had sleep and no, I'm not on anything. <laughs> Say no to drugs. Okay, back to normal, sort of. Um, <laughs> I got this sample in my stocking from um, Gimme Brow by Benefit. And it is, this particular one is in medium deep. I'm, I'm not sure if I should stick with the medium deep when I go to buy it or get the lighter version. This is the darkest version. But um, I guess, you know, it's got like this tiny little brush applicator. It, it's, I've used so much of this. Um, I'm surprised actually it's not gone. I've been just stretching it out. So anyway, the label is pretty close to what it is. I'm trying to give you it with the sunlight. I've had this in my possession for over a year and I, I use it almost on a daily basis. If I'm going out with when I'm putting makeup on, a daily basis. Okay, two mascaras. Okay. Staple for me, I change, and before I say anything more, I change my mascaras out every three months. This is why I have the collection, so that I always have something different to try. But one thing that I always will repurchase every three months, I normally go to Walmart if it's on sale, is Maybelline's The Rocket Volume Express Waterproof. Because you go to the gym, um, practice night for the fire department, that kind of thing. I want stuff that's not going to go anywhere. Um, I will always have this. So I have to buy another one because it's my last you'll see the collection ends there for that particular kind. What I'm currently wearing to go to work um, in this video is a combination of Maybelline's The Mega Plush Volume Express in the, everything I have is in the blackest black, unless it's, if it's different, I'll tell you. But that's that, and that's the base. And then I topped it with this sample I got of Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes. So that is what I have on my eyelashes right now. There you go. So into this little container I repurposed, um, I think it was, what was it? It doesn't even sticker anymore. It was an uh, Intrigue and Opulence candle from Bath & I just used it to store my mascara. So let's dig into this. I got this for free and I don't know, I've heard nothing but bad things about it. It is, is it CoverGirl? Oh, black is black. Oh, here, I want to read the label. Revlon Bold Lacquer by Grow L Luscious. 
Mm, I've heard nothing but bad things, but I have, will not open any of these because I've never, I've been very good about not opening them. Um, having heard good things about it. This is by the brand Sweet Leilani Cosmetics. And that's one of the ones I'll be probably trying soon. Um, Sweet Leilani is a Canadian brand, cruelty free, all the freeze, it's amazing. Um, the next one I received in a like free packet of three different things from Bare Minerals and that's the Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara, also in the black is black. I received that free. Um, I don't know, I was at, a till, at the till at Sephora one time and they gave it to me. Uh, Total Intensity by Prestige Beyond Lashes Dramatic Precision Mascara and Molten Brown. I picked this one in brown by accident, but I'll give it a try. I'm thinking this one might be okay for summertime because brown might be at half decent for summer. But I will give that a try. I love the, as you will see down the row, prestige shadows are really good. Like, really good. Something I'm looking forward to trying is Physicians Formula's Argon Wear Ultra Black Ultra Nourishing Argon Oil Mascara. So, looking forward to trying that. And I tried Trusted Top. Wow, again, my words, you guys. Wow. A tried, tested, and true mascara that I love, and this is a repurchase, is the uh, Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, the Fla Falsies Volume Express. I really like that on an everyday um, basis. And something from Buxom that I got, I think I got a packet, like a 500 point perk Buxom, it came with a lip gloss, this and something else I can't remember. Buxom's Show Off Black. Let's see if it says anything else. Big and Pushy? Big and Pushy? And I received this part of that where my eyebrow stuff came to play. This is also my little pack in my my stocking that Santa dropped for, down for me. Um, Benefits they're real, and this one is Beyond Mascara. I've actually had this before. I like it. It's this the brush that it's really pokey. Actually, I find that the lights camera flashes that I'm using as a topper. There are sometimes I, it's such stiff plastic bristles that I my eyes start watering. And thank goodness I do my mascara before I do my eye makeup. I know that's probably opposite of everybody, but thank God some days because, um, yeah, <laughs> all of my eyes will be running. <laughs> um, new to me is Maybelline New York's Lash, Lash Sensational Luscious, Luscious. Everything else is in Spanish and French, as per usual in Canada. So um, that's there to try. And uh, something I've also not heard the greatest on is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara, also in the very black, it's black. And lastly, something that I've had um, in my staple, I will always have this, this is a liquid liner. And may I, may I add to, with liquid liners, I, at least with this, these brands here, this is the Stila Stay All Day Black is Black liner. I don't wear liner often. I cannot believe how long I've had this. It has not dried up, but make sure that's clicked into place. And I always store these upside down, any of those liquid ones with brushes. That's my own experience. I like it. Now the rest of these, or the, the next bunch I have to show you are what I got. Sephora kits are amazing. They tend to normally come out, the ones I'm interested in, skincare, makeup, that kind of thing. Normally it's around holiday time because I try to get people to buy stuff for, for others and things like that, but I buy stuff for me. Huh. So I'm not into eyeliner. I today wore um, this one here. It is a Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And the color is Vice. So this, these ones all came into one of those Sephora boxes that I, I love. I love their skincare boxes. I found holy grails that if I had a lot of money, I'd buy them again. I'm slowly um, looking at my stash that I have and I know what I want to buy the next VIB in, in the fall. But this came in that box. Um, all of these did. So this is the Vice one. This was or is the Precision Longwear Liner by Tarte um, in the blackest one possible. Let's see if I get that right side up. And there's a Buxom eyeliner. It'll be waiting. It's like a gray. I've not tried that one out yet. It's a pencil. It's a regular pencil. Um, this is a Stila, this is a not, it, this is a crayon, like a retract, no, not retract, is it retractable? It is retractable. I've not used it. It's a smudge stick waterproof eyeliner. So I'm going to try that next in my upper waterline because I'm still trying to find my holy grail. I line my upper waterline with black to, because I don't have a lot of, um, 
Isla Real Estate that I don't like putting liner on the top of my lashes, but rather I like putting it underneath. Makes my eyelashes look longer and it saves more room for shadow. Um, but I'm still on the, on the uh, look for that. So if anyone has any suggestions, because right now I'm using what's left of it, Sephora 24 hour crayon, waterproof, it's a waterproof crayon. It's in like a black, came in that box too. There's that. There is a Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. That's also a pen. And the brown one I have is Smashbox, Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Cajole Liner in Sumatra. <laughs> so I'll use that one probably when I go to use the, the brown mascara. Now, a Holy Grail repurchase for forever. I might try the NYX one next, but um, I love the Remmel Scandalized Waterproof Coca Gel Liner in Nude. Now, there's a couple different packagings. I don't know. I get them when they're on sale. If they go half off, I buy them because I can't live without them. This is what I have left of my current one. I have two backups. I really love that and I've used that for lining my lower waterline. So you guys, um, that's part one of the, I've got my makeup collection. So that's my mascara, my brows and my eyeliner stuff. The lip products, I may have to like separate them by brand because or by type like gloss or lipsticks i have so many <laughs> i can't believe how many i have so anyway you guys thanks very much for sticking with me and watching my extra long video but part one of my makeup collection so you guys take care and as always be safe